Hello, my beautiful Aquarius friends. How are you today? Welcome to the channel. Uh, my name is Donna. We're getting ready to do new love for Aquarius. Let's see what's going on here in the Aquarius love life. Well, that one just popped out. I'm not going to take it, but you have released something, so now you are rebirthing your love life, Aquarius. Beautiful energy. All right, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Capricorn Queen of Pentacles. Your overall energy is your all about. The business of making very good romantic decisions after what may have been a very tumultuous love relationship. Okay, so let's see what the future is bringing here for you in love. In the recent past, your energy has been to leave something alone. You've packed up your bags. You've let go of a burden. Um, you're very, very, you're in a good space. You know, that's a beautiful energy. It's a sense of relief, profound relief after a very challenging time in love. Oh, here, oh my God, that came out here. It was well, there we go. We have the ju Judgment card, Scorpio energy, Sagittarius energy. You have released something. Your preconceived ideas of who you're supposed to be with are gone. You are really starting from the beginning. This is basically Phoenix rising from the ashes. Also, the Judgment card is when we release, we let go, and we allow something new in. How you are viewing your dating life at this time is you are kind of conflicted. You know, you really are going to allow people to compete for you. That's as simple as that. You know, you're you're going to date multiple people. You expect them to date multiple people. And, um, you know, what I do see, though, is that this is Leo energy. And so there's a lot of ego and pride here in the people that you're attracting currently. How you are viewed, Aquarius. You are viewed as beautiful, passionate, sexy, somebody who would uh, be attractive to most people. Ace of, of Wands. Schwingalicious is what you are. Schwingalicious. Let's see what you have in your heart space or the heart space of other people. When they look at you, you are attracting some some energy from really handsome, good-looking, somebody very handsome, very good-looking Capricorn energy is going to try to lure you in, but there are strings attached. So I'm really not seeing, you've already released that kind of energy, but you still have something that you're going to look at right now. Be very careful. This is just, to me, this is very cautionary, is that you may also feel in your own heart space that you need to have a relationship under certain conditions. The way Spirit sees the future of your love life in the near future is the Two of Wands energy. The Two of Wands is that you are at a crossroads and you have to make very important decisions about your love life and about what you want, about what you'll put up with, you know, about how you feel. What's hidden here in your energy is that you're not finished grieving. You've been left out in the cold by someone with whom you had a very significant argument. You haven't, you know, you've released this person and yet you know you don't want them back, but there is this feeling that you got manipulated. What Spirit is advising you this week is move forward, Aquarius. That is your energy, Aquarius. And what's your outcome for the weekend, new love? Moving forward slowly and deliberately, Virgo energy, being very practical about the way you are, you know, going to go about this journey in new love. So let's look and see why we have, tell us more about that Ten of Wands spirit, please. Tell us more about the Ten of Wands. Actually, wait a minute, I'm going to come over here and look at what fell out, just popped out. Okay. We have Capricorn energy twice. You want somebody with whom you can collaborate. Somebody with whom you can create something new and wonderful and beautiful in your life. Okay, why do we have the Ten of Wands? The Ten of Wands is reversed. Okay, so somebody who used to make you feel very defensive. Somebody who you, you thought would fight for you. Somebody who you thought would um, understand you better. Is They've disappeared out of your life. And you packed it in, you've left it behind, but it's been, it was a heavy burden for you. 
We do have the Aries. We have this Aries energy here. It could be fire sign energy. But it shows that you feel as though somebody played a big game with you. The chess move here, the chess piece with this Aries Emperor has brought you a period of time in your life in the past when there's nothing more you could do about it. You just felt like you had to, to leave them alone. They were on some sort of a journey that did not match yours. You felt that they were playing games with you, and they may have been, um, but we're really seeing you just having left it behind. So the judgment card, what is it that you had to make a decision about? What is it? Tell us more about that in terms of new love. Okay, so you're releasing this person because you want to be happy, because you want happily ever after. You want stability. You want someone with whom you can marry and build a life and buy a home and share joy with. The Ace of Swords, you want somebody who tells the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. That Four of Wands tells me that you may be attracting an Aries person into your life. But we have Five of Wands. We have Leo. So there is somebody who's a Leo in your life who, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, you still can't really forget them. You've released them. You've released the concept of them. You've released the idea that this, this could have been somebody you thought you were going to marry. You're releasing that idea, but you really still, it still shows some heated anger, some, some feelings, conflicted feelings about this person in your life that you really haven't settled yet because you're still feeling left out in the cold. You still feel abandoned. So it does show that, you know, we're going to get some really powerful spirit messages here for you because this breakup may be a little bit too new for you to, to do what you want at this time for the people that I'm reading for. So look at this. We have six of coins. Somebody breadcrumbed you. They gave you a little bit. They weren't equal. It was not equal give and take in terms of what was given in the relationship. There was a deep passion. You are looking for deep passion. You want somebody who's very sexual, very sensual, somebody who can make love all night long, Aquarius. <laughs> you have your needs and you do intend to have them fulfilled and you will take on multiple suitors to do that. We get Magician card. You're manifesting somebody new. Okay. So why do we have the Ace of Wands here? Everybody sees you as a go-getter, as somebody who's enthusiastic, somebody who bounces into the room. Let's see what we have. We have the Page of Cups. You probably look a lot younger than you are. The Page of Cups also can be uh, a person who is not overly serious. So people are seeing you just having fun. You know, girls just want to have fun. Boys just want to have fun. But... People are rushing in to talk to you. Okay, this makes sense to me now. This makes very big sense. What I'm seeing here, Aquarius, is for most of you, you're not really ready for anything serious quite yet. You still have some healing to do, but you're going to go out and have fun. You're going to put your toe in the proverbial water. You're going to, you know, you're going to go out there and date, but it does look like you still have uh, pain from the past that you haven't really dealt with yet. You still have sleepless nights or hard time sleeping. Uh, the wounds of the past are not yet healed, although you're in this space of healing them. So at this time, we look at the devil card. Why is the devil card in your heart space? You, you can't really, you really are still attached to the person who is toxic back here. It really says that you don't know that you can love anybody else right now or that your heart is not necessarily open. Two of Wands, Two of Wands, good. You really do see that it's time to let go. You really do see that it's you are at a crossroads. You do understand, oh my gosh, a double left out in the cold. Um, you are really trying to cope in your heart with messages and thoughts that you don't want to have. It's kind of you know, for those, for, for whoever, whoever I'm reading for, look at this. Oh, relief is on its way, Aquarius. You are bringing in some very grounded Taurus energy. Somebody who's very passionate, who will meet your physical needs. We have somebody who is self-sufficient, who's very generous. The King of Pentacles loves to give a beautiful gift. And, you know, this energy over here, 
despite what you're doing, even though you're in this kind of odd place where you're still having a lot of angst about someone, you have attracted this beautiful, beautiful energy of the Taurus King, who is never going to leave you out in the cold. You are being invited in to a very beautiful, warm, vibrant library. Somebody who's very smart, somebody who's very intelligent. You have a dog. This person may have a dog. It, the dogs represent loyalty. Very passionate, very educated, very um, self-made person. Okay, so why do we have the Two of Wands here? You are really at this crossroads. Yep, here we go. Yet again, we have a lot of repeating energy here. So Aquarius, we see you once again. You're at this crossroads. It, the crossroads is a Leo. It looks as though you're either headed to a Leo or you're leaving one behind. There's our devil energy. Double the devil. It's a Leo. Wow. You understand that. You're trying to look at things from a different perspective. You are healing. Leo, oh my gosh. So this person was a person with whom you had a lot of laughter and a lot of fun. When things were good, they were really great. It does still show that you're in love with this person, but this person is now with someone else. It looks like they, they have gone elsewhere. They were at a crossroads. They took a different direction. You were not chosen. This is almost like a personal reading at this point. So... So Libra, 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 what, what do we have here? Ace of Wands, you are coming into this beautiful energy. You are not going to be left out in the cold anymore. You have a lot of people who would love to get to know you better, spend time with you. The Hanged Man says that, okay, you're holding out. You are holding out for someone who's coming in with Virgo energy. You want somebody who's very grounded. Aquarius, you do very, very well with Capricorn energy. By the way, you do very well with grounded energy as long as you don't have, you know, ego battles. You do need, uh, Capricorn energy is very good for you because it's, it's the element, it's an elemental energy that's very conducive to getting along with you. The Six of Swords, you are moving away from a period in your life when you've battled, it seems like you've battled with everyone, you're healing. Spirit is telling you to heal, but Spirit is also recommending to you that you, st you know, you, you are part of the conflict. And so, because there's a lot of ego here, and there's a lot of sense of feeling, feeling self-righteous, should I say? But you're healing this energy. I mean, you're accepting it. Balance, beautiful justice energy. So Spirit is bringing in balance for you. Let's see why. We have this Knight of Pentacles you could be dealing with or having a brand new Virgo in your life. Somebody with whom you could collaborate. Somebody that you might meet through work. You're not really sold on them. You are going to go ahead and juggle them. You might release them. They might not be around for very long. But it does give you a feeling of victory, and that is so much what you need. So what we're seeing for you right now, Libra, is that you're not going to make any long-term decisions. You're still processing through a lot of hurt and anger for whom I'm reading for. If this isn't your reading, please be sure to check out the Gemini and Aquarius reading. You always have something uh, very familiar with the air signs. Gemini reading, I think, would resonate for a lot of a lot of you, um, as well as the the Libra reading. I did say Libra accidentally. I know you're Aquarius, okay? So I do know that people get you know. I know all of you get very upset, but when the when the reading is labeled, that's what it is. Okay, so we're going to look at the spiritual message here for you. Let's look at the shadow deck and see what is going on here because right now Aquarius I'm not seeing that you're really ready for love. I don't think that you think that you're ready for love. Um, please leave comments below and let me know. Again watch your moon rising and Venus. The message for you may be there if this isn't your message but let's look and see 
Lib let's look and see. I don't know why I want to say Libra. I feel as though you need balance. That Libra energy is what it is. The star seed is reversed. You are a star seed, but you've been dropped on your head by somebody and you are suffering. You are suffering from that wound. It's still not healed. We also get the energy of the Queen of Pentacles again. So you're very grounded. You do know what you need. You do know what you want. You are going through this balancing out period. So that's why that I keep saying Libra. I keep getting justice and balance. That's the marriage. For, that's the advice from spirit. You're going to find your mate. You have a love mate coming in. Talk about winning the football game or the Super Bowl in the last minute of the game, you really do have a beautiful reading. You're very much not really ready to date, but you have to date to be able to finish your process of healing. And that's what I have for you, Aquarius. You really do need to be out there. You, you need to, to talk to different people. You need to really release the memories that have you feeling very caught in a web of lies. You feel very much like you need release. Judgment card popped out a couple of times. This is how you release yourself. You know, they always say a new love replaces an old love or, or heals an old love. And for you, that does seem to be the case, Aquarius. It really does. So I'm going to pull an oracle from all of these decks for you because you, you need a big hug, Aquarius. You need a big hug at this time. So we're going to pull the Shaman's Dream Oracle card for you first for the message. Deep Diver, Diving into a Task. Well, there we go. On the water, you're healing. You're going to jump off that boat and heal in those healing waters. It's beautiful. You're on your way. You're almost there. You've almost arrived. Let's look and see what we have for the Keepers of the Light Oracle and the message for you from Keepers of the Light. El Mor Moria, Awakening Presence. The universe is with you. Wear a cloak of protection and love. All right, good news there, right? Protection and love. Okay, so let's look and see what the Sacred Forest Oracle has for you. Bear Spirit Healing, okay? A lot of healing, a lot of deep dive, a lot of energetic um, energy going into success and love. Let's look and see what the... Um, the Angels and Ancestors Oracle Cards has for a message for you. Move in a new direction. Well, there you are. You are moving in a new direction. And let's see now what Moonology has. A message from the Moonology deck is a win-win forecast is outcome. Full moon in Libra. Oh, my word. Look for your full moon in Libra this year. Oh, my gosh. That is going to be part of what helps you with this beautiful Libra energy balancing out. And let's see what the seven, the Oracle of the Seven Energies has for you. We have opening to discovery. Look at that energy. Aquarius, you are needing balance, which is making you an honorary Libra today, but you are a star seed who's standing on their head, blood is rushing to the head, but you've gotten up. You're sitting up and you're on your way balanced to this beautiful sacred love, Ten of Pentacles, that is an abundant, ancestral, um, it's, it's all about passing on a legacy to your family. So it's usually children, it's grandparents, it's dogs, it's cats, it's toddlers, it's, you know, getting married at home because it's a sacred place for you. Aquarius, it's been a joy. Thank you for letting me talk to you today and bring this reading to you.